Heavyweight battle at that. As Team Vitality, the reigning world champions, take on Furia. This is a matchup for the weekend. This is arguably could could have been a grand final matchup between these two squads. Furia has shown up and shown out the second they step foot in Denmark. Vitality looking to rain tried and true, but Furia, they're gonna end up on the board first on arguably a Vitality mistake. Well, yeah, of course, you can't make any mistakes against a player like Yan as that just slips right on by. That was very awkward in the first 13 seconds. And Vitality now have to shake that one off, looking uphill at Furia. A very exciting Furia squad. It didn't get much of a warm-up in the opener as Vitality nearly answers back. Now lost, going to work. He had six goals for Furia in that first round trubbing of Luminosity. Now another one lobbed back in. It's gonna be Alpha looking for an answer. No, Zen trying to keep the pressure on and nobody else could follow that play. And this one still could have been Vitality favor. This shot's gonna go towards backboard here, but bounce out into the corner. Jafinho slowing things down, trying to get over Zen. Zen takes this one back and a minute in. Although Furia does have the 1-0 lead, it's Vitality looking to take back control. Pinch down ground, set up for a shot. Gets sent off by Yan, but pressure doesn't end here. Here comes Zen with a shot of his own. Another save to come through. Furia keeping up the battle against the former world champs. Wave Fung mentioned it on the desk. It'll be a battle for air superiority here. That one's left for Grafinho and his shot. Easily set away, not much behind it. Yan going to work, lob it up for loss. Now Grafinho with the follow, throws to the backboard, trying to draw the defense out, has done so, and still Zen gets there for the save at the very last possible moment. He put one center though, put it right in the lap of loss. He couldn't get around on a shot. It just kind of trickled towards the net and a missed opportunity for Fury to double their lead. It's just another example of the Vitality world-class defense that we've seen for so, so long. But the offense that is legendary to the name of Zen comes through. Vitality tie things up. Yan comes out to challenge, and then nobody else knows what they're going to do when Yan can't stop Zen, and we're all tied up. Three minutes and 12 seconds left to go. A tied game between these two squads. Off the kickoff, potential goal here does come through. Radosin to give Vitality another lead. Brado with just his second goal on the day, but it's a big one to give Vitality an early lead. So now they've completely wiped away the mistake they made at the start of the game, giving that early goal to Yan, 13 seconds in. Two unanswered for the reigning world champs, and here goes Alpha, looking to pour it on. Picked his spot, it's wide, and he follows it up. And right now, Vitality are picking Furia apart. Everybody shoots, everybody scores. As the seconds go on, Vitality just seemed to get stronger and stronger. Again, the world-class offense we all know and love from the squad. It's been a little shaky in times past as far as the qualifiers were concerned. Open qualifier one, Vitality went third. They placed fifth in the second OQ. And finally, that last one, they came in second. So it's been a drive of momentum headed here into the major for them. So this is a good sign, especially with Furia coming in is maybe not necessarily a favorite, quote unquote, but they're not to be un uncounted out. And it's a team in, especially led by Yan, you've got a Gamers 8 champion where he basically walked right into the kingdom and stole the crown from Team Falcons. An exciting final that that was. Now it's lost, going to work. You know, of course, Jan excited to have lots as a teammate, but they don't connect that time. Here comes Vitality yet again. Zen's gonna loop around, he'll retreat. Lost running forward, trying to run interference. Jan is way back and nothing brews from that attack from Furia. Instead, it comes right back in their house. Zen's got another. He continues his torrid pace now. He had five in the first round, and now another pair here. 4-1 Vitality. I just adore Zen. The amount of control and composure that this kid has on land just is unmatched. Another attempted shot. That one just a bit wide off of it, but it's okay when you're up by three against Furia. You got two left on the clock. This one stays in the Furia half for now. 
Furia looking to get out of their own side. They want to have the opportunity to take a couple shots. Here might be the chance. Here comes Yan, shot on target, but it's sent off. When you get to high stakes matchups, very few organizations can boast a record even close to that of Team Vitality's. You remember as dominant as Team BDS was back in RLCSX, it was still Vitality that won the European Championships. Like they bided their time. Similar to these first few qualifiers, they lost at every stage you could in the, in the playoff stage. And now here they are looking like, as one might expect, one of the best teams in the world. I mean, Vitality, they're land boys. This this is where yep. they thrive in, in this sort of environment. They love the pressure. It's what they feed off of. And, it, and that makes other teams nervous to have to go up against them where they do best, right? It's on land when they're together in the same room in this high level of competition. But Furia, they've been looking to make a name for themselves here in Copenhagen. They've been doing great so far, but you got to have to answer to some of these Vitality goals. They're going to have to do so fast. Alpha looking to kill more time. Almost a very clean win. Almost ended up in the net. Now Zen looking for more. His double denied. And now Furia will break out now with 30 seconds left. At least a chance here to get one back. Rafinha the demo and lost as to his tally. I love this play. That is such solid communication on this one. It looked like he wanted to almost send it up for Jafina, but Jafina said, no, 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 just take the shot. I'll go up for the demo. Just wide open shot for you, man. 27 seconds left to go. The lead only cut down in half, but it's gonna, it's gonna feel a little bit like a challenge, especially going up against a team vitality. Well, Jan scored in 13 seconds to start the game. It could certainly be done, but he accidentally pinches that one across, and that might have just killed any comeback hopes. Here goes Alpha, Vitality trying to put it away, and the final countdown now of game one as things will end up in their favor. Team Vitality weathers the early storm out of Furia, and then they dominate the mid game to take a 1 0 lead. That was, I mean, I wouldn't have expected anything less out of that first match usually dominate their first match and then from there you have these crazy matchups like this one and what we're gonna see a little bit later on between Carmine Corp and Team Falcons which I happen to think will be the grand final for this event <laughs> but I digress business to take care of here as the save comes out from Redosa 15 seconds in no shots registered but shots are at least being taken Here comes Vitality trying to Put some pressure in the early stages of game number two on a Furia here. Lost has other plans, trying to clear this one up field. Yan gets a touch off this one. Jafinho up next, shot floating towards that net there. Great save from Alpha off into the corner there, and Vitality stay alive. Much calmer than the beginning of game one, where the goals are flying in quickly and furiously. Now Yan bringing it right back in. Good communication you see out of Vitality as Zen takes charge from the back. Again, this is how Vitality does a lot of their work. They will kind of lull you in to a false sense of security and then they'll strike on the counterattack. They do play a very defensive style, whereas Furia, they like to kind of press the issue. Rafinho and Zen getting introduced to each other as Yano will bring it deep into his corner and try to work from there. I like this one over one, but here comes Zen immediately sending Furia racing back home here. An attempt from Alpha to keep this ball downfield, but it goes mid. Redosin up next. Here comes Zen. Tried to float it towards himself on this one, but a 50 keeps this ball mid. Can Zen cross that line? No, it's Jafinho that puts us into the Vitality side. It's a immediately sent back and this is what you talked about right vitality so quick to counter so quick to transition onto furia there's been moments where it's caught them off guard but furia doing a great job of holding their own and sending it back an opportunity gone by the wayside here is lost will pass it back to drafino try to keep the attack alive drafino second touch not there jan will center lost diving in and drafino had no boost and if Vitality had turned that into one of their vaunted counterattacks, it'd be 1-0. There was no chance of anybody from Furia getting back in time. Here they come, and almost getting through. A last-second save coming up from Yan. Now that goes all the way across. Kept in by Zen for the moment, but that demo slows down Redosin. 
And he can stay forward, but not do much with that ball. Yep, but somebody that can do much with it is Zen. As quickly as I say that, it gets taken away. Rodosin tried to just throw it in the vicinity of this net, but Furious said no, we'll take it back. Great flick here towards center. But it's sent off by Rodosin. Who's going to be the first one to touch this one? It's Yan, but you can touch that ball, but you're going to get so sent home by Vitality as the demos and the aggression starts to pop out here in game number two. Completely scoreless, by the way, with two minutes left to go. So at what point does somebody get caught off guard? It's going to be a 2-0-2. Lost is the one to find his way into that net. Lost getting on the board yet again. Just a wide open net as Vitality got caught out. Zen couldn't get back in time. 1-0 with a couple minutes left. But can they hold the lead? They gave up a, an equalizer very quickly to Zen and Vitality in the first game. Forbidden Temple have a different storyline. Lost for Drafino! This looks so powerful and confident. Two touches from the corner into a center for Drafino. Just absolute slot in front of the defense there, and Furia extend their lead and gives you, gives you some confidence headed in these next two minutes. Usually it's Rafinho leading the charge there and acting as a bit of a bulldozer, but this time he scores. Now Yan with Rafinho waiting way back in midfield. Can they set him up for another? Lost will try to serve one, but it's cleared away, and Zen's already downfield. Yan couldn't get a piece of it, and it doesn't turn into anything. Zen. A rare missed opportunity. You won't get away with that too often if you're the Furia defense. Yeah, definitely anytime you get the opportunity to, to catch Vitality off guard, you gotta run with it there. Be prepared for any, any slight mishap in the most respectful way possible. Minute 10 approaching. Furia still leading by two. Vitality hasn't been able to answer to either of those goals there. Maybe an attempt on this one. Attempt! It is, a, is the wrong word. That is completion at its finest. Vitality cut that lead in half. Alpha converts, just a challenge ball. Come up and get me. Nobody could. Still over a minute to go. Plenty of time to make Furia uncomfortable. Important kickoff here and a little finesse to it, but it ends up deep in their own territory anyways. Alpha. Has to watch that one go. Lost diving in. Yan will jump in as well. Try to add one more, get that goal back, and feel a little bit more confident here in their cushion. It is only the one goal. Alpha now. Try to bring it down to ground. Zen is there. Needs a second touch. He's let that one go. And Furia almost took possession away. A little nervous there for Furia. Lost was caught off backwards on this one. This ball trying to get cleared out into the mid. Lost sends it back. Pass over to Jafinho. Shot goes crossbar in but you're still up by one. You play time at this point. 25 seconds left on the clock here. Demos starting to come through from Furia. Nobody can get past them. Vitality still stuck in their own half. 15 left to go. Alpha wants to take a shot, but Lost keeps him at bay. Zen lost it. Red Dawson's there with Alpha running interference. And a critical save made by Yan. No time left. Zen, all eyes on me. Block him there. And now, a loose ball up at the skies. Yan on target, and Zen can only keep it alive. Just barely. Pinch downfield. That won't be caught up to, and Furia level the series. I mean, what an answer. Zen had five goals in that first round series. Vitality has five goals as a team in this series through two games. Here goes Lost, looking to go to work again for Furia, but just blocked away by Zen and company. We'll see how this game takes on a life of its own. Two very different games with Vitality blowing Furia out through the middle of game one, and then a low-scoring, grindy affair. You know Furia wants to break out, try to run up the score. You're gonna find that very difficult against the defense of Vitality. So much pressure in the early stages of game three here from Furia, which honestly you'd love to see if you are a fan of this squad. Coming in here with an answer to that last goal, the game that we all felt should have been overtime. They're gonna try and uh, redeem themselves a little bit here in game number three, maybe try and find a lead head to match point. The shot goes towards net here. Alpha just places us into the corner. Infield pass, but no connection on the ball there, and Vitality get to start their counter. 
and they're gonna get something out of it too. It's Radosa, and oh, a little too slow as Trofino's all over. Didn't have anybody in support, so he couldn't set anyone up. Now lost, dropped it down, and that's easily cleared out by Alpha. Not much more than a few jabs back and forth in the first minute plus of game three. Trying to break this one all tie again. The winner is 2-0. and And will have a shot at clinching their spot tomorrow in, in the weekend playoffs. Almost said Championship Sunday. <laughs> Getting a little too far <laughs> ahead of ourselves, but either one of these teams certainly a strong candidate to last through Sunday. Tredosin with a stop there. And again, we just kind of fall into this holding pattern at midfield. I mean, and I wouldn't expect anything less right now. Honestly, these two squads feel fairly equal, although that is all going to be said and done. Jafinho gives Furia the one goal lead here in game three. Well, he got lost, at least in Alpha's way. Had to be aware of him. And Furia strike first. And they keep this up. They've struck first in all three games now. One and one so far. Zen just skies it up, delayed for Alpha to get back in position. And a good 50 at midfield. Trumps that deeper into Furia territory. You see now G2 and Gen G over on the alternate stream. They're in game five in their 1 0 matchup. Again, you can expect to see Champions Field maybe a few times here as we close out the night. I mean, at, at this point, it, it, it's there's so much on the line. Every game matters. Every goal, every series is all so important headed into day number two, especially if you're not quite showing up how you would have expected. I know some of these teams would have hoped for a sweep. Maybe it would have went the other way. But Fury are doing what everybody hoped they could, which is a lead against Vitality in game three. Well, Alpha with an aggressive turn there, and then you see the bump right in front of the net. Somebody had to scramble back and he got knocked out of the way. Furia using their physical bold play to take a 2-0 lead here in game three. We talked a little bit about that before, the difference in play styles against these two squads could at times make this feel a little bit more one-sided than others. And well, in this case, Furia's bold play style is working extremely well against the vitality pressure. Another opportunity for Lost, and this time it is met well by the defense of Vitality. And they're sur surely not done with this game yet. We've seen them lead a comeback charge in a similar situation in game two. That fell short. Rafinho now just lets that one die. Couldn't get the flip reset to do anything with it. Jan has Lost ahead. He whiffed on it, though. And Vitality are let off the hook. Can they capitalize? Redosin, no joy there as that's cleared back whence it came. And Furia on the attack yet again. A few opportunities have gone wayside too for Furia, but more importantly, Vitality. I've seen them sending a couple of their players upfield, one trying to go for the bump or somebody go, trying to go for the in-net bump as well, just trying to clear any sort of a path for an opportunity to answer to those two goals, and yet nothing has worked so far. Bump onto Jafino means maybe Alpha can get a second touch. It's a shot on net. Lost keeps this one out, and a minute to go before Furio potentially is going to match points against the former world champs. The Vitality are gonna lead a comeback yet again. It would have to come probably from Zen. He's been the leader so far in this tournament for Vitality, but also, you know, it's gonna come from the air. Not along the ground where Furia just seemed to have this game on lock. Who will take to the skies next? It's Radocinho, but he's denied by Drafinho. And back it goes right at Zen with 30 seconds left. Something's got to give here. Can Vitality get one on the board? Can they at least make this interesting in the closing seconds? Another big stop by Drafinho, who's almost turned it into offense. Lost foot at high, but that's more time burned off the clock. Can Vitality take advantage now? No, they cannot. And the final 10 seconds will burn away. Vitality, not for lack of trying, not for lack of opportunities, find themselves looking up at match point <laughs> from Furia. Oh my gosh, Furia, the whole world sees you. You have come into this land absolutely on the, in, in the mouths of everybody.
something very scary for Furia to go up against. A small majority of the talent team looking for somebody from Team Vitality to wake up. They were the favorites, according to us collectively. I know you did have Furia. <laughs> and right now, it's looking pretty good. But here goes Zen. Flip reset. Got it to the crossbar. He was bumped. Chaos in front. And Redosin will clean up the mess. I love this. Zen goes. It's off the backboard. Alpha tries again. Furia stays strong. But three times is the charm for Vitality. A full team effort to give themselves the early game lead. So for the first time in this series, Vitality gets the opening goal. Will it hold up? No, it will not. Lost. It was an awkward look. Very similar to Jan's and very tough to judge defensively. I think both times it was Zen at the last who just could not get a read on it. Oh, that is that is unfortunate. But yeah, again, not a bad position to be in tied one to one. You're only just under 30 seconds into this match here. This one goes into the mid. Lost trying to drive this ball forward here. Vitality wants out of their half, but immediately sent back by Yan. Zen looking to take that ball, but it gets taken right back away by Yan. And here comes Furia from the ceiling. Lost trying to carry this one down, and Vitality seems to keep them out for the time being. Uh, every time Yan is anywhere near the ball, maybe a little less lately, but still kind of has that reputation as one of the most intimidating forces to go up against in the RLCS on the global stage. Here goes Redosa, trying to get down to ground quickly. And then Zen kind of gets knocked into him, so it's really only Alpha at the back, and he makes the stop with almost all of Furia bearing down on him, and another one saved away. Follow up, off the crossbar. Old Ironsides comes to the rescue, and Vitality are off the hook for now. It's not gonna stop here though. Furia still manages to stay in their half. Lost, quickly turning around, takes this ball back, waiting for the second touch. Infield over to Yan, this one goes up, and then it hits down, and here comes Drafinho with the shot, Alpha with the save, the clear off by Radosin, but Lost deep in that third, just waiting for anything that comes the Fury away. You've got to get those opportunities on target. Near is not good enough. And Vitality, they've been bailed out by the accuracy or lack thereof of Furia, and they've turned it into a 2-1 lead. They're them. Even you can never, ever count them out. You can never count out Zen, even in times where it feels like they might be a little bit lost in a series. You've got three minutes to go. Vitality back up by one. Is this where the momentum starts to find itself again? Or does Furia find an answer to put a stop to the motion? Well, Vitality back in front, looking to expand their lead. Zen had a look. Now Radosin denied. Still loose as Yen has to clean up the rebound. And then back it goes. Chance for Furia now. It's lost. Put it wide to the right. And well dealt with by the Vitality defense. You notice Yan there grabbing that corner boost. Knew he had enough time to go boost and ball. Very few manage boosts better than him. He almost always seems to have more than half a tank when he starts to cook. But right now, he's watching his team struggle against the Vitality defense. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's felt a little bit closer, but granted, I, I wouldn't expect got it him. any other way. And yep, just like you said, got him. This one cleared up field, catching Furia just off guard, pushed up a little bit too far. You saw Jafinia just trying to race back, but the moment Vitality sees an inch, they take a mile, or I guess a kilometer for these guys. No, we can speak in freedom units. It's perfectly fine. 3-1 <laughs> the lead. Vitality doesn't care what we're doing. They care that they've got a two-goal lead now. A little bit of a cushion in a game they must win to keep their 3-0 hopes alive. Now Yen, forward, intercepted. Vitality bringing it back, and this is where they just put teams away. But not that time. Alpha could not convert. So Yan will bring it back in. Oh, he took that away from Lost, and then Drafinho was beat. At least he got the demo on Radosin. That gives his teammates a chance to get back, but they're now on the back foot after a squandered opportunity. Here's a nice big clear upfield for Furia. Yan trying to make connection with this ball, but Alpha's two touches keeps this one driving in Vitality's favor. Over one, not over two, though, for Radosin. 
and less than 90 seconds to go. Furia, you got two goals to answer to. You're sitting on match point. It felt like it was in your favor, but Vitality says no. We want game five. Yeah, I'll take some drama with a side of Champions Field, please. Both of our 1-0 matches have gone the distance. And this one, barring a catastrophic failure, looking to do the same. Vitality, up by a million by their standards. Lost, trying to bring it in, nothing there. And this is, again, we talked about the front running of Vitality. They don't blow leads like this very often. They could just kind of squeeze the game out and wait for game five. It'll have to be kind of a, a big reset mentally for Furia. Zen goes to work. Trying to get through the defense and just add to his impressive total. Not happening this time. Now Alpha looking for more of his own. It's been mostly Zen today, but in this series, Alpha and Radosin have answered the call. Somebody else had to step up and help the youngster out. They've each scored three. All three members of Vitality, but Yan gets one back here with 31 seconds left. Furia, you've got 31 seconds to do not the impossible, but it's going to feel that way. You do have another chance, though, at the end of the day, but I'm sure they would love to end it here off the kickoff. This one headed into the orange side, but sent back almost immediately. Here comes Trofino, pops this one up to Lost. Lost, clear out into the corner. Yan's gonna try and follow it. Two touches, an attempt to make a center is lost over to Trofino, but Zen clears it back, wasting the precious time that Furia would have needed here in game number four. And as this clock counts down these last remaining seconds, it's safe, almost safe. I take it back, it's not safe. Nothing, nothing is safe in Rocket. It sure looked like it was over until Yan got that challenge with Radosin, brought it back across, lost position perfectly. And now two seconds left. Furia have been solid on kickoffs. Can they be great and break Vitality's hearts? Yan's gotta catch up to this. You got a lot of mechanical prowess over here, but not enough, Vitality. Force Champions Field. We allotted the opportunity to do so. And there you have it, Champions Field. Both of these teams looking to make it to tomorrow. 2-0 in the Swiss. Who will be the first to do so? Watch Drafino in the first minute and a half or so of this game and see if he does the worst thing you could possibly do. Try to do too much after a lackluster game. Drafino and Jan both jump up after that one as a double commit from Furia costs them an opportunity. Rafinho diving in on this, but he can't stay with the play. And now Lost will try to take over from the midfield line. Intercepted by Alpha. Rafinho's over there, so already he's making his presence felt all over the field, trying to set up Jan, but it went wide. Here comes Vitality. The counter starting to come through. Rafinho says, if you can't get out of my my side, I'm just gonna get you out of my way, and the bumps are coming in. One big clear towards the Vitality side, immediately stopped dead in its tracks, but Furia still pushing towards that net. Immediate counter, though, nice big clear. Furia looking to slow things down just a little bit. Wonder if Furia maybe feels a little bit snake bitten and they hesitate just enough for Vitality to take advantage. There's Lost. He's not hesitating at all. He has been full go and almost got a crucial opening goal for Furia. Here you got it. A nice challenge there from Lost to keep this ball in the Vitality half. Yan just trying to redirect it towards that net. Take any and every shot you can up against the Vitality defense. Just try and chip at that wall there. And try and be the first one on the board. You want the early game lead to make Vitality uncomfortable. And Rodosin's gonna clear this one in the mid, lost. Pass over to Yan, back over to Lost. Can he make it through though? Zen with the save. The final boss making the stop after an almost brilliant performance. Now Zen, oh, denied by the post. And it's sent back out to midfield. One that Vitality I'm sure would love to have back collectively. Now Drafino has lost, so he pre-jumped. And Drafino just could not get the pass to him. Maybe frustration mounting now for Drafino. Is now lost. It's going to be all alone at the back for a moment. And everybody has to scramble. Drafino is there. 
Yan trying to bump around with Alpha, and Furious should control possession now. Maybe a shot on goal, but no. It was a small attempt to drive this ball forward, but the one thing I will note is Furia trying to send somebody up just a little bit. Again, trying to clear that path open against Vitality, but it hasn't been the best of attempts. Instead, it's quick counters from Vitality like this back into their own half here is Furia. Jafino looking to be the one to get them out. Zen up into the sky. Yan, great win on the challenge here. Trying to drop this one down. Oh. It's an opportunity for loss, but he doesn't go up in time to try and take the shot. And at two minutes, we stay scoreless. Yeah, lost just a little too far back. And by the time he made the decision to commit, Way too late. Yan brought it all the way to ground, had the entire Vitality defense waiting, but they guessed right. Of course, there were three of them. One of them was bound to make a save. Yan going back to work. Another win on the 50, but it goes right to the back wall where Red uh, Redosin's got it. And now Zen and Drafino, one by Drafino, but Alpha's there. The one thing I will say that just feels insane is that Vitality have only had the opportunity for one registered shot in this series, or in this series, in this game so far, this game five. Maybe there's an opportunity for another one here, but this is probably the most held back Vitality has been so far throughout the series. As a, maybe arguably in game number one would have been the most. But as time is going on, Furia are starting to look a little bit more menacing than they have, at least in game number four. Oh, there's big a shot! shot. There is Yan! Just handed to him! An opportunity created by a double commit where we worried that Furia might be the one that started panicking. It's Furia who holds its composure with 108 to go in game five. At this point, you are just playing solid Rocket League in time. Do everything you can to keep Vitality uncomfortable and on their toes. Just let them scramble to get out of their half and create an opportunity. This one from the ceiling. Redosin tried to go down. Great clear out into the mid. Lost low on boost, but enough to drive this ball forward. Alpha looking to get out of his own half on this one. Pass over to Redosin. The big clear allows the Vitality counter to start to come through. But it, as soon as it begins, it just ends. Yeah, they're not able to get sustained pressure, and they're going to need maybe second or third chance opportunities. And they're running out of time. 30 seconds now, as Zen will bring it across. Has his pocket picked. Lost is there on the wing. Graffino got a piece of Alpha. And the shot is saved by Zen to keep Vitality alive in this game. Furia, Furia looked like they're playing like it's still a tie game. They are still desperate to add another to their tally. But now here comes Vitality, bumped by Alpha. Can he turn on this? Yes, he can. Last call for the world champs before they drop to one and one. Sen's got it in the air. Alpha waiting, waiting. Passes there and he sent it too high. Jan brings it almost to ground. Radosi can't keep it. In Gosh, Furia, you, you've done it. You've done what everybody was trying to see if you could.